many of them don't even know that they've passed away and they don't know where they're going and they don't have a real life. So it's not a good thing. I ended up saying a little prayer for the soldiers that died. <clears throat> no, they, you may not know this, but they're dead. <clears throat> I had to keep repeating that every time there was a movement that did the same normal. All of a sudden, the light exploded. All of a sudden, there was, there were a lot of flames. <laughs> and it was on fire. There, there definitely was an energy to that to that fire. It, it felt like a very menacing presence. And that was creepy. Yeah, somebody that was trying to clean it up. <laughs> you know, what happened? I don't know what happened. You know? Yeah, there was no explanation. Now, unfortunately, nothing else like that happened. But that boy, that one time, was really sad. Very uncomfortable. I was giving it up. Because I, as I said, I, I, I hadn't allowed myself to consciously think that that would be possible. Ah! I did not grow up in a house where people spoke of ghosts or paranormal activity. My father, I would say, would probably be a non believer in just about. Don't rip, Don't, rip Don't rip your shirt. Don't rip your shirt. Don't rip your shirt. Don't rip your shirt. Thank you. We were a very tight knit family. It was just my brother, Michael, and my mom and dad, and we were very close. My brother was bossy. My brother had to always make <laughs> the rules. So we grew up very competitive, but loving and close. And no, 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 tell me. Put your hand took care of all of us. We built one house and fixed the electricity. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. So he was a person that a lot of people knew not. And my brother was the closest person on the planet to me. 